here we are with Danmachi Season 4, Episode 3. And yeah, last episode we went to Floor 25, and which is the Great Falls, and we encountered a weird moss monster that can infect people with some kind of parasite or plant stuff, which seems not that great. And it's also very strong. It could keep up with Bell. And it seems smart because it backed off instead of keeping fighting. So I guess we see how that will go and what will happen next. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and let's get to the episode. Bit of recap from the last episode. Oh! It attacks other monsters? And eats their crystals. Is he, ev like, evolving with that? Getting stronger? Leveling up? And now he eats those crystals. Nom nom nom. Oh no. Ah. She tries to heal, but let me guess, it's not working. It speeds it up, maybe? And it regrows. Hello, Aisha. Mm -hmm. So what can you do against it? How can you get rid of it? So do they go back to the surface, maybe? みんなが考えれば助けられる。助けるには急いで地上に戻って、私以上のヒーラー。Yep. Is if you if you go to the surface, then yeah, it's kind of useless. But if you go for the source, then fighting, being good in combat is good. But yeah, I guess going back to the surface is a smarter choice. Because even if you destroy the, the source, it doesn't mean that it goes away, right? Yeah, it seems very big. No. And the elves, I guess, they are dead. Oh, guess it didn't help. Oh, really? Crystals, magic stones. So they basically have to split up. If they go after the monster because he wants to, then they have to split up. Some that go back to the surface with those that are infected, and some that go after the monster. Relentless Hunter. But they weren't ready for this monster. Yeah, I was wondering where the dwarf was. Pretty much. Determination. So, <laughs> this, is, this is weird. So they basically went from, yeah, you know what, this area, the 25th floor, is pretty vast, right? So finding that monster will be kind of tough, and the best choice would be to go back to the surface. It's like, it, it seems like to be like the best choice that we can make, uh, that we can do, that has the highest success rate. And now they are like, yeah, you know what, going to back to the surface doesn't necessarily mean that it will cure those two. So 
Let's go after the monster. That seems like the better idea. But I mean, if the monster is after crystals, then I guess it, it won't be that hard to find it because it's after you. Because that's what I'm good for. I can only fight, so fighting monsters is good. If she would have was more hidden behind the shield, then she wouldn't have her get hurt. This whole time. Wait, did she say there wasn't? What I want to know is why there have been no, okay. Because maybe the people that saw it died, <laughs> I would guess. Exactly. But I mean, then there must be reports of people that um, went missing, right? When there's suddenly maybe a bigger influx of people disappearing, dying in on floor 25, where this monster is. Would look suspicious or not. Or maybe just... Because I can't imagine that just the normal amount of people died when there's suddenly this monster that hunts adventurers, right? There it is. Oh, it killed one, and it left two alive as bait. It's smart. Yep. Aisha is so thoughtful. Let's go! Oh, it dropped the shell, maybe? Oh, what? Yeah, I was wondering. It looked so weird that it just sits there and does nothing. It looked weird, so I was wondering. But I didn't expect it this. Don't get distracted. Pay attention to your enemy. <laughs> Spin to win. Fire must be bad against it, right? Ooh! And it drags him down. Which... Deep down, holy shit! Yeah, don't lose your head. Stay calm, stay focused. But now they have even more people that are injured. They can't carry every everyone with them, right? So I guess they either have to go all back or they have to split up. Exactly. Yeah, I guess he has. He's strong. I mean, she's also level 4, right? So, and he has like crazy high stats when he levels up, so he's even stronger than normal level 4. But if there are more things like that moss monster, then Belle is fucked. <laughs> Hestia will go either way. Either she's like completely shocked that he's like alone and 
flips out. Or she will be like, yeah, it's Bell we can talk about. He will do it. I trust him. Yeah, send it after Bell. The let Bell fight it alone. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a double-edged plan, double-edged sword, because they basically want to, like, throw it down to where Bell is, right? <laughs> Somewhere, maybe. I mean, maybe it dies from the fall, I don't know. Is it there? Maybe it's there or another one? Oh, no, it's the... Okay. Oh. Did one pierce it? What the? Is it so many? <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like bullets. Yeah, Bell will be fine alone. He is very agile, but not that agile. Ooh, I think there was a big one. Oh, does he go hyper speed? Ultra instinct? Man, Aisha's sword is so big, bigger than the axe. Oh, the dwarf. They also got fucked up. So they join up together. Oh! Oh! God damn it! That's a lot of small crystals. Not worth picking up. Rather take one big one. Oh, the mermaid! 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 She's like, awesome! That was a good show! I don't think that she will join up. <laughs> I guess she wouldn't make it with a fin. But yeah, episode done. Okay, that was the episode, and yeah! I mean, we had a big recap. Basically, the last, like, two, three minutes of the last episode, at the beginning again, which is a bit, nah, I think it was needed that you have like the recap, basically, like, yeah, um, and then we had like, uh, basically like a discussion about what to do next, and like I said in the episode, I think it was kind of weird that they are like, what are we doing, do we go after the monster and beat it and hope that it cures the shit it did, the parasite stuff, or do we go back to the surface in, in the hope that someone can cure it at the surface, what is a better option, and they were like, yeah, going back to the surface might be the better idea because we have injured people here and this area here is pretty big, so we might not even find the monster. Then they basically, after the Luvis, is like, please help my companions that were with me. They all change tone right away and are like, you know what? Going to the surface might not guarantee that it gets cured, so let's go after the monster with the injured people and try to beat it and get the other people out here too. Seemed a bit weird that how quickly they changed plans from like going, let's go to the surface, that sounds like the best idea, to no, let's go after the monster, that sounds like the best idea. <laughs> like I said, my, I would have maybe said we split up, like we take a few that are like very good at fighting and use those to hunt the monster down. And then maybe like two or three can take the injured and get them back to the surface. Um, but I mean, technically... <clears throat> because it's a dungeon, if you only take, like, you have two people that are injured, and then you have to take, like, two or three that get back to the surface, two of the five, like, two injured, two would have to carry the injured, and then one would be, like, there to protect them, basically. It's, like, it's a mismatch of, like, how many people are injured and how many people can actually fight and defend those injured while going back up and being attacked, so, yeah, okay, makes sense. So it would have to be all go up or all go after the monster. But now you have like two people that are injured and you go after the monster that is very strong from what it seems like. And yeah, it's, it, it, like I said, I think it was a bit weird how they changed plans so quickly and decided one thing was better and then suddenly the other thing is clearly better when they said before that the other thing would be better, whatever. 
And then you basically went after the monster. And when I saw it, I thought it was weird that it was just sitting there. It looked like weird as if it was sleeping or whatever. So it looked weird. And then it turns out it actually wasn't there. It was just like his outer shell that it like stri uh, stripped off and put it on someone else to just hide basically somewhere else and just make it look like it as if it's there. And then it attacks from the back, which was very smart. I didn't expect that. I expected that, that it would be like that. And then, yeah, Bell gets sent down with the monster in down the floor to the maybe 26th or 27th floor by now. I think their plan was weird that they are like, yeah, we hope that the monster comes after you. Then we use the gravity magic and send it down. And I'm like, so you send it down to where Bell is so that Bell maybe gets attacked by it alone? Or do you just hope that it dies from the fall? <laughs> I think that is also a weird plan considering that Bell is down there. Um, but yeah, I guess we will see how that turns out. And yeah, we found the dwarf that was also attacked and survived. He, I guess they did better than the elves. Um, so yeah, interesting to see what happens next. Like, does their plan work? Does the monster go after them? Or maybe the monster goes after Bell? Or maybe they don't get attacked at all? I guess it will be interesting to see. And yeah, what's going on with the mermaid now? Is the mer I guess the mermaid is not bad. I guess the mermaid might be one of the Xenos that is like maybe nice and can talk or whatever. We will have to see, but it this episode will, felt very short because we had like this raw, long recap and then the discussion what to do next and then a small fight and then basically the end with the next strategy and Belle being down there and fighting those mega fast birds thingies that looked like bullets. I thought he was shot by something, but yeah. Decent episode, I would say. Definitely, so far, not the strongest episode out of those three. Um, but okay, we will see how the next episode goes. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you thought about this episode, and thanks for watching, until next time. Bye-bye.